Hello again, St. Lucia, and welcome to the program. You are on the field with me, Philip Sidney, and of course, uh, my guest is Sir Calix George, who was, of course, responsible for a lot of work that was, has been done here in agriculture here in St. Lucia. And we are now going to our part two of the program. So again, welcome, Mr. George, yes. to the program. Uh, be, while we ended the first part, you talk about the contribution of Sir Arthur Lewis mm -hmm. uh, as far as um, agricultural economics are concerned, was concerned to St. Lucia. Could you tell us a little more about that? Oh, well, I think I, what, I, what, I, what I told you was the, 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 the influence that he had yes. uh, from, from his writings in terms of agricultural development in the tropical world, ah. or in terms of the British, British colonial development. Mm -hmm. Um, because don't forget, he was also part of the. First, he worked in the in in the trade um, department. I think it was of the British government, and was their advisor uh, to the Colonial Development Corporation and development. There was the Colonial Development and Welfare Fund. Mm. So that is the, the the fund that was used to stimulate agricultural development by the British government in the colonies. So as a result of that, I was telling you that he had recommended the Jamaicans, okay, mm -hmm. to come into places like St. Lucia to help in agricultural development. Right, right. So his contribution is to the development of the agricultural enterprises in St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. And that was through the extension work of the Jamaican guys I told you about, yeah. Mullins and Atkinson and Atkinson. so on. That's, that's how you have the Atkinson brothers yes, and so on yes, down here yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? Yes, yes. Uh, and Atkinson did a lot of work, for a example, at Mark in Estate. In bananas and stuff and like that. And so on. Yeah. And he mm -hmm. also did some work, incidentally, the at Beauchamp. I'll come to Beauchamp. that. Yes, 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 yes. Um, um, so, so Arthur, through his writings and so on, as I'm saying, I'm trying to illustrate that his writings mm -hmm. And, and his recommendations were influential in active, active participation of the development of St. Lucia. Okay. And these are his books here. These, yeah. are, the, these are the volumes. Yeah. I have all the volumes, the collected papers of Sir Arthur. And anybody that wants to come and read it, you can come. Yes, I will. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not letting it out because when you let out your things, you're going you know back. <laughs> but if you want to come and read and, yeah. and know about his, his, his things, yeah. you can come to my house. And, definitely, and I, and definitely. I, uh, okay, let, but let's, 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 let, let's go back to, I really want to touch on the Agricultural Cadet Corset Union. No, but before, yeah. before, but you, we, get, before you go to that, let mm -hmm. me tell you about the, the, the same thing about Atkinson and so on. Oh, okay, all right. Now, when Atkinson came here in the diversification, he had an estate called Beauchamp, yes. down in Miku, mm -hmm. and he had brought down um, Aki's Jamaican from Aki. Jamaica, mm -hmm. and he gave it to me, and I propagated all the Aki's for him, okay? And he used the Aki's to establish a, a big farm down at Beauchamp, mm -hmm. all right? And it was the largest Aki farm in the Caribbean, even bigger than those in Jamaica. Okay. All right? Because he was interested in the diversification of the agricultural economy of St. Lucia. So himself and a, and a, and a guy, I think it's a Fletcher from, from, um, from Jamaica, and they opened a plant to process the Aki. Okay? And that started off beautifully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened, yes. but it, it, it floundered. Definitely. And Jane. Yeah. But Atkinson had done a very, very good um, initiative. Uh, not, 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 not forgetting his, um, what do you call it, his, um, uh, um, the tilap, 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 Oh, well, well, that's, what, that's what, a different, that's, that's, different, that's, different, that's, different, that's a different story. <laughs> they used to call it T. Atkinson. T. Atkinson, yeah. yeah that, that, that was brought in uh, actually by Scouten, yes, who was yes. the chief agricultural officer. And that's why you have the ponds at Union. At Union, correct. Because right. that's, where, that's where it all it started. started off. Off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the tilapia farming. Yeah. And, and some of the ponds, I think, are still there. Yeah, some of them are still yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Union Agricultural Station and Union Agricultural Cadets, the course. That was, uh, a, the famous, cadets. That was, that was a famous course, you know, sir. I mean, well, the, as I was explaining to you, it started off in 1910 or 1910, something like yeah. somewhere. I, I can't remember the exact date, but mm. it's recorded somewhere where, where I've written on, on it. 
and um, and so it continued and then you have people coming in there to be trained etc ira for example ira dovey mm -hmm. uh, was trained there Cuthbert henry and all these guys were trained okay uh, at, at, at union agricultural union agricultural station and so i continued that but i expanded it mm -hmm. and i also expanded the course the course content right so you had you had different subjects i infused for example um, I must have pumped chemistry. Oh, your head. both the organic and inorganic chem. Oh, yeah, Lord exactly. of mercy! Exactly. I never forget that. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to understand those things before you could write things. Yes, man. So, 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 so you did, you did a basic science course, and then afterwards you did something on the history of agriculture, mm -hmm. and then you did um, the agronomy, how you grow mm -hmm. various um, mm -hmm. crops and so on. Yeah. There's also the livestock section, which yeah. Mister. Fontenelle. Yes. Fontenelle, Mr. Fontenelle mm -hmm. did, did the livestock mm -hmm. things. There was engineering too. Uh, and there was, there was engineering. Daisy, Daisy you remember was, Mr. Daisy? Daisy, Daisy yes. Yeah, did, did the engineering. And then you also had um, Medrick. Oh, who that's did, who pathology. Did botany, botany Pl plant, pathology. Plant pathology. Plant pathology. And, and, I remember and, and that very so, well. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but I can never forget your, your chemistry. You know, I mean, you were drilling us, you know. I'll, I'll tell you one thing about 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 <laughs> Mr. George. No, you have to, you have to, you have to, you, know, you have to understand. But but you know, I, I what I admired about you was your frankness. You know, and you admit you know where where mistakes were made, and you were just frank. I mean, I don't think this opportunity gives us enough time to go through. But those were my best days in in, in growing up at Union, Night. and I must say thanks to you. Well, um, that's what I was trained for. Yeah, I I I, I wasn't trained. I wasn't trained um, for the, the knowledge that I have was for, for me. Mm. It, the knowledge is to be transmitted. Yes. And I'm very glad, actually, that I, I was able to transmit whatever little yeah. knowledge that I had to you guys. Yeah, and, 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 and I had a whole series of, mm -hmm. a whole series mm -hmm. of guys. And then in the thing about and, that, you know, you know that's what, what is interesting? You, at the time we were growing, you know, we were like 16, 17 years old, you know, young, young guys. Um, we, we, I don't know if you knew, but we were scared of you, you know, because, <laughs> <laughs> because after, the, but the thing is, we, ne we, we thought you, just, we were being, you were being wicked to us because we call you all kind of names, you know, we call you Jigan, we call, we call you Castro, we call you all kind of names because, I mean, you were just drilling us, not realizing you recognize our potential and we, you, you wanted us to obtain that optimal level that we, as far as we were concerned. Yeah, yeah, and, well, and, was, and that, and that I, was I had it. to push y'all. I had to yeah. push y'all. And I must say, um, that's the way. That's the way. That's the way. Of course, you have to when you're dealing with certain characters like Rigobert. <laughs> you, you also, you also, you can't let Rigobert <laughs> control. Rigobert ain't controlling. He's not only controlling you, you know, but he want to control me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So fellas like Rigobert and so on, you have to have yeah, man. A, a, a strict um, thing. You know, his, his, his famous thing was taking the vehicles at night <laughs> and moving, going down to 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 um to, to Miku. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, we all learned and, to, to drive course, a junior, eh? I know, and and of course, <laughs> Rigobert was a famous. He was a he was a character. Yeah. He is quite a character. There was this guy that that I remember. Sad, sadly, you have to you have to dismiss him. His name was Civila. And I remember... Who's that? I can't no, you, no, I don't think you can remember that guy. We, we were, all of us learned to drive on, on, on 2115, 547, and yeah, the yeah. list goes on. Like yeah, yeah. Short wheel base, long wheel base, Land yeah, Rovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember this guy on the weekend, and then he, he was reversing by Prout's office, and then he hooked one, one, one of the bumpers, and he ripped uh, it up. Okay. And, and so in the morning, we had, you call us to, to, to the lecture room, and then you were questioning us, and nobody said anything. Until he said, so I was the one, and you, and you sent him home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a discipline that, yeah, that you have to, you have to, yeah, the first yeah, thing yeah, that yeah. you, the first but, thing, but, but the cost if you want, if you want to, if you want to progress in life, the, the first thing is, is, is discipline. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but you know, the cost content was equivalent to you, you know. I know, I know, I know. Jeez. I made it, I made it, I made it that way because when, when I finish with you at Union, <coughs> right? And you go to Ekiaf and so on. You bound to, to you have everything. To, let yeah. me tell you, I mean, we have to you succeed. Know, you have to succeed. Yeah, we have yeah. to succeed, man. Um, if you talk to um, um, fellas like Polius, mm -hmm. uh, Ronnie, yep. and those guys, mm -hmm. um, 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 Ronnie, Popey. Yes. 
yeah. they will tell you that when they went to university, the course that I did with them for statistics, they covered that no smiling, <laughs> you know, because I went up up to the to the level yes, yes. Of, of statistical analysis, yes, 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 statistical yes. design, and all that. And Popey, Popey tell me when he got he laughing, he at laughing the <laughs> because Carlo had already done that. With Definitely. Him, you know? But so a question that I was asked to put to you. We we, ne we we never graduated and we never got a certificate from, un, under, under your watch. No, we were always supposed to get it, you know. We never got it. Well, <laughs> what happened, Mr. Mr. Um, Cyril, Mr. Matthew yes. had made an arrangement with the Ministry of Education. Education. That's after, yes. Yes, to, to give you all a certificate. Right, right. That never, we never got and, it. And then, in fact, I think, in fact, eventually that happened, you know, because... Yes, 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 yes. We never well, at the batch that we were in. Maybe the, your batch, we, probably. Batch after but afterwards, it yes. went to the we, uh, Mr., Mr., Mrs. Mr. Reed and Mr. 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 Nuffridge, Matthew, yeah. Mr. Matthew mm -hmm. and so on had made an arrangement for it to come out from the from the from the more technical. Yes, and yes, correct. No, you're right. Yes, you're yes. right. But our so, batch never received it. Oh, probably all the. Yeah, 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 yeah. But let's go back to the landscape of Union Station, sir. I remember when I got in there. I mean, that station was a viable station. And um, while we well, were Well, it's no longer an agricultural station. <laughs> uh, you can't but, call it agricultural But, but you know what's interesting? Because the whole, you know, the whole section there where I used to do my experiments and so on, it's it yeah. no longer but, there. But, they, but, have, they have they, 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 they desecrated the place. Definitely. The only thing that is of value, um, as far as I am concerned, is the, the propagation center. Yes, that's the only thing that's there. And the propagation center has done very, very, very well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, particularly in terms of ornamentals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I still think that they need to uh, expand the um, the propagation of economic crops. Yes, they do. Particularly they do. things like citrus and citrus mangoes and mangoes, yes, and yes, mangoes, yes, 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 yes. mangoes. I agree with you. Because St. Lucia, when you look yeah. at St. Lucia, St. Lucia is a mango country. Yes, yes. So yes. if you're talking about agriculture, future agriculture, you have to concentrate on fruits and mm -hmm, things. Mm -hmm. Now, as you say so, there was another thing at the Union which I did, and that was the integration of the crop production with processing. Right, the agro-processing and, and I brought in, and I brought in yes. the, 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 what is known as the, 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 the produce chemist produce laboratory. Chemist lab. yes, yes. Uh, and I had a group of guys, Mr. Lubin. Like, like, like Mr. Lubin, um, before Des Mr. Lubin, Mr. Des Des Destown. Destown. Yes. I even had a, 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 a engineer, mm -hmm. um, Evans. Evans, yes. All right. Yes, yes, Evans yes. was a chemical engineer. Chemical, well. very good guy. So mm. what I used to do, I you remember, I used to grow the passion fruit. Yeah. I'd introduce passion fruit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we used to grow the passion fruit, do the experiments. You all take the the, the, the you know the weight of the fruit and yes, all that kind yes. of thing. And then, in fact, that's how Harvest got his name. Remember? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Harvest. Well, that's Harvest, after my Harvest time. is always interested in harvesting. Harvesting. <laughs> so the fellas call him Harvest. Harvest, yeah. Anyway, we used to get the harvest, bring it to Madri into the into the. You remember Madri? Madri, yes. Into mm -hmm. the into the mm -hmm. um into the um uh, the lab the problem. Mm -hmm. And then they would do the processing of the fruits, the liqueurs, and all that kind yes, of thing. Yes, yes. Because yes. I'm still, I I am personally uh, of the opinion that. Um, there is a future for p passion fruit in this oh, yes. country. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because oh, you can yes. grow the passion fruit on the hills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, the same way that you go, when you go to France and Germany mm -hmm. and those mm -hmm. places, mm -hmm. you see they grow in their the, the grapes and so on on the hills. Yes, yes. You can yes. do the same thing With here. the trellises and Tre so on. The trellises and mm -hmm. so on. Yes. And in fact, up to now, I still, I am still of that, 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 that view, and I still grow my passion fruit. Okay? Yes. Uh, on, on, on the hillsides up at Marquis, mm -hmm. okay, with the hope that others will do <coughs> to the extent that we will have an industry of passion fruit, mm -hmm. which will give you not only passion fruit juice, but also liqueurs, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, and things like that. You yeah, know? but I, when, I, when I look back at the landscape, what the Union Station is to be, you know what was sad? You had fun, you have, the first night came, that came where we had... You remember that orchard we had lower you? There was a citrus and mango, and then the man, electricity came man, and they put let that. Me let me tell you something. <laughs> um, um, Before you continue, sir, I, I will end you there because we have a first break uh, for this part of the program. You're watching 
on the field with me. We will do for a break. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development is placing heavy emphasis on the concept of food security. It's our prosperity, our future. The Farmer Incentives Program of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development is aimed at reducing the cost of production and promoting food security and accessibility. All farmers, fishers and agro-processors who've registered and own a farmer's registration card qualify. These incentives include the percentage reduction of excise tax and import duties for agricultural and fisheries production inputs which are imported. These include approved agricultural products for an approved agricultural project, for example vehicles, fishing vessels, animals, animal feed, planting materials and other farm inputs. Farmers can apply by completing the application form and submitting with all relevant documents attached. For further information, contact the Deputy Director of Agricultural Services at 468-4125. Welcome back to the program on the field with me. Of course, if you're tuning in now, I'm speaking with Sir Calix George, of course, a great man who contributed a lot to the agricultural sector here in St. Lucia. Mr. George, we were talking about the landscape of the Union that um, I was, you said earlier on it was desecrated. Yes. I mean, I can never forget when I came in as a cadet at Union, mm -hmm. you know, we had this orchard at the bottom, the mango and the citrus, and all of a sudden Lucilla came on the power station there, and you had, we had to move that orchard to the hillside. Well, <laughs> I cried. Wow. When that happened. Wow. Um, and I cried. John Compton actually made me cry. Wow. Because I couldn't understand how you're talking about agricultural development and you're giving Lucy Leck permission to put a power station in an, where an orchard was already established. Was already <laughs> established. Yeah. It takes a long time for a tree crop, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that is the or, that is the, that is the orchard that provides us with the mm -hmm. budding and so on mm -hmm. to propagate, to produce plants for distribution to farmers. Yes. Yeah. All right. And no matter how I try to, you know, prevent it and so on, Compton gave it. Thing. Yep, and it was gone. And so was we, gone. so on, on the side. But there was it. this thing about the you, anything and so on that they were on the government union station. Yes, or from one from one to the funding next scheme. Funding, funding scheme. scheme then funding scheme again. Um, the Ministry of Agriculture had the best, the best agricultural engineering engineering thing in terms of machinery, etc. Yes, et As a did. matter of fact. The, 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 the St. Lucian population were against bringing of tractors. They said, when, because Scouten, the, minister, the, the uh, superintendent of agriculture, was the first man who started to bring in tractors and so on. Okay. If, if Scouten didn't bring in tractors and so, St. Lucia would still be making a road with pickaxes and so on. <laughs> you know, understand? So we had the best mm. agricultural engin engineering. Mm -hmm. Heavy equipment, equipment. thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the guys were well trained. There was a gentleman by the name of Prout, a Barbadian guy, yes, sir. Um, who was who was the who was the mechanical yeah, engineer. Yes, yes. All right, and then we had very good um, operators. Mm -hmm. Fannis. Fannis, yeah, these guys were good. Um, man. Um, um, and there's there was another a Yeah, there's another guy who was very very good too. I forget his a name. lot, a lot of them, man. Yes, they were yes, very well trained. Yes, Those yes, guys yes. could go on the hill and do the terraces. Yes, terracing nicely on the contour for you mm -hmm. and so on, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 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 then also they, they did a lot of the feeder roads for the for the for, for the, the farmers for the farmers mm -hmm. especially. Mm -hmm. So when you come and you destroy, when you come and you destroy your your your, your main tree crop thing and put the thing, yeah. Then then then, and then you can't go and talk. You go out and talk about diversification of agriculture. So yeah. Then you had Waso came so, in where, where we had we had our remember our coffee Waso, our coffee plot plots. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes you yes, cover yes. that there. Yeah. Then then you you had the housing scheme on the hillside. Everything, everything, everything. everything they want, they come you know, to union. union, and that's yeah. it. You so know? that is right. So we, we had our job. I mean, it's, 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 it was 
uh, well, uh, that is why I lost my, I lost my, um, I lost my, uh, my admiration, let us put it that way, mm -hmm. um, for John Compton. And, but that's a long story. Sorry, yes, another, that's another show. A long story. <laughs> I, I admired the guy for his contribution um, to um, uh, the fight with the Barnards and so on, the Sugar Days. Mm -hmm. um, but subsequent to that, I had a lot of fights with him, for example. He became pro-capital and anti-labor, as far as I was concerned, mm -hmm. because the problems that he gave us when I was president of the Civil Service Association. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I had to call three strikes. Yes, I remember. Against him, <laughs> yeah. one of them lasted about sixty days. But I don't want to go into <laughs> that. that we talk about agriculture. I respect, I respect the man. <laughs> yes, I think yes. he was one of the hardest working guys. It's true. In in Saint Lucia, mm -hmm. yeah. very very um, thing. But somehow or the other, there are certain actions that he took, which um, went against yes. <laughs> my philosophy. My philosophy. As I want actions, um, as just as you speak. Uh, the uh, that long building at Union at the time where that housed me myself as the agricultural well course. that is, that is what I use that is the house that house that was the old cotton thing you know it was it okay yeah yeah we used to grow cotton at one time yeah I know and the cotton ginery um, was 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 there okay so and then afterwards it became a it became a storeroom mm -hmm. where Mr Wardrobe was Wardrobe was yes yeah, Mr Wardrobe. Um, um, who is the uncle of, I think, um, a relative of Derek Walcott. Okay. Uh, himself and so on were there. Um, so that was destroyed. That was pre When I became the Minister of Communications and Works, <laughs> all right, know. and I sat down in my office, rain was falling and then there was a leakage on my desk, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. my desk used to get flooded, you know, with water coming down from the ceiling and so on. Mm -hmm. The people um, who were downstairs, water from, the, water from the toilets and so on used to see downstairs, you know. Oh, okay. So the people, when I came in there and I saw that, I couldn't, I couldn't stay there. So I had to go there. And that is why I got Dr. Kenny Anthony to agree for us to have a, a new ministry of, of, of communications and works. Mm -hmm. I had known every square foot of the land at, at, mm -hmm. at, 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 um, uh, at Union, all right? Yeah. And so I got uh, a very good friend of mine, Neville Ski, to design. And it's one of the best designed government buildings in the country. I agree. It is thoroughly... Um, uh, uh, effective in the delivery of, you know, its services, services et, yeah. et cetera. Mm -hmm. Even the licenses and so on. I understand now there are problems with that. Yeah. I do not know why, but yeah. um, but that building is an excellent building in terms of providing uh, facilities for their workers. Yeah, yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go, you know, the famous um, thing, which when after I take you out, from the mess at La Coucomissie, <laughs> brought you up into a building and so on. And I go in one time, remember the, the thing about the pizza? Yes, I remember <laughs> that. The famous pizza, pizza. In, 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 in the garbage. And, 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 and you have pizza <laughs> on your desk. You're supposed to be serving people. You know, I give you very good conditions. I come down there and I ask him about the thing. You want the puppy show me? Nobody answers. So it doesn't belong to anybody. Three so three I have three. to put a trade <laughs> But that building should have been ours, eh? As far as I'm concerned, agriculture. <laughs> well, I was no longer the Minister of Agriculture. I, know. I was the Minister of Communication at the time. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I thought that was to, 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 to union and yeah. thing. Now, mind you, there's, in fact, I was trying to get um, the. the, 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 the um, uh, the Prime Minister actually to put his office up there because there's a lot of land. Mm. Yeah, of course, yeah, on the and, hillside and, on the hillside and uh -huh, so on, uh -huh. at the back of us, uh -huh. by where the funding scheme was. Right, and so on, right, and right, so on, right, at the right, bottom right, right. And thing. Uh -huh. um, and in the design, in the design, I even had tennis courts and so on, you know, at the bottom. Yes, I saw that, yeah. And then the, you had the, the building, build, which was for the Across, CF, across the, bri yeah, the, the yeah, bridge, a, yes. A recreation Should center. center. I remember that, for yes. the CSA yes, and so on and so forth. No, it was well done. Now, 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 as a matter of fact, um, 
uh, and I'm a say so, uh, I am of the opinion that the pressure of housing yeah. in Castries mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can be solved by some of the lands that we have at the Union. I agree. You see the problem that we that is coming up from the um, CDC buildings? Yes. Right? Yes. I can show you at the Union where you can go and put some new high-rise buildings, okay, so that you can transfer those people mm -hmm. from there to Union. Okay. In addition to that, the lands to the east of the Dimple at Rizzi School. Yes. As a matter of fact, I was the one who convinced um, Mario and Dr. Anthony to do the school, the Dimple at Rizzi School in that area. Mm. Okay? Because you remember the thing with the castries? Yes, I remember. Yeah. Shift yeah, system yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Because there's land at the Union. Mm -hmm. Lands east of that, going up to by Elwin. Mm -hmm. Empty, you know? Yes, I know. And that's it, a lot it, 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 it has an old cocoa thing. Which yeah, 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 yeah. It's gone. In fact, the, 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 the old cocoa jump plasm bank right. is still there. It's still, still it's there. It's still there. It's still, it's still, still there. there. Yeah, but, okay. but there's land available. All, all, that, all but there. that's land available yeah, yeah, there, yeah. as a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. And if you're really serious, I think, I think that the government should purchase... The Postlewaite Estate, which yes. belonged to um, Elwin's people. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And all that. In going fact, the new road, the going, the new road going, going up there. Through them. You yes, got yes, good yes, land good there. Land there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the problem that that uh, that well, uh, I'm I'm deviating, going away from agriculture. <laughs> thing. But as it arises, you, yeah. you, you know, we're talking about union. Mm -hmm. uh, there is enough land up there. Well, there's a lot of land there. which can be utilized yeah. to alleviate the problems that you have with the CDC buildings down there. Good. So we just about to come to a close, but I, I wanted to talk about um, where we are, where we were, and where we are now with agriculture, and what you, what, what's your take moving into the future? Well, um, there, there's always a great future for agriculture as far as St. Lucia is concerned. Um, no matter what you do, you must, feed, you must feed yourself. Food security. Food security, okay. Uh, as has been said to even by Sir Arthur again, uh, if you read his things, he says that there has not been enough money devoted to the research on food crops, right, in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So we need to look at how we can improve the productivity of our existing crops that we eat, like our yams, our dashing, our sweet, sweet potatoes, potatoes, and things like that, okay? And to develop modern systems, mechanical systems, for the production of those commodities. Mm -hmm. You cannot develop, and, I, and again, I have said so in, in my book and thing, you cannot develop agriculture in the modern world without mechanization. Mechanization, yes. Okay? Yes. So you have, you have to take... But you remember, you must remember that I used to have those small tractors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rotovators. Rotovators. Harold used to do Harold, <laughs> Harold. Harold was a master yeah, yes, at, that, yes, at using yeah. the rotovators, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So you have to introduce those yeah. things. Well, the throughout, minister throughout the length of breath, I understand that they, 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 they are bringing in some, yes, the, but the, that's not enough. Yes. The, the you have to more. put those things in areas yeah. where the farmers can have access to it at critical Cold times. Time. And that's what because again, you cannot use them when it is too wet, wet or too dry. Correct. You have to you, you have to plow the soil at a particular consistency. Correct. All right, and it's a very narrow window. So you have to have the things available for the younger boys, the younger men, to use those things. All right. As part of their land preparation and so on and so forth. I agree. Okay. In fact, our so there's, uh, there, 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 there is future provided that you go into things, and particularly in the area of food production, because if you have your tourist industry, and you have a million tourists coming into your island, you that means you have to feed a million people. Correct. So you should be able, right, to produce the food that is going into the thing. That's right. Then the food that is going to some of the institutions 
when, for example, I was the Minister of um, Internal Security, all right, the Borderly was self-sufficient, you know. I remember that. I had them to establish a farm. Mm -hmm. I had extension officers going there. Mm -hmm. I had qualified agriculturists working in the thing mm -hmm. for both crops. And livestock. And livestock. True. Right? Mm -hmm. They were self-sufficient in eggs and so on. Mm -hmm. Pork. They used to sell pork. pork. Yeah, they used to. From Port Borderly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Broilers. Uh, and broilers and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. So there's, there, there's, in fact, there are areas from government institutions, <coughs> right, where local farmers can benefit, right? Borderly can feed by it from feed itself. Of course. And, and, and <coughs> also, the, the also hospital, the hospitals are right. The yeah. hospital. Exactly, exactly, exactly. The, 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 the the boys' center, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all these areas, especially especially now with cassava. The, the, exactly, the 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 the, the geriatric, <coughs> the geriatric um, houses, you know where you have yes. you know yeah, people yeah. my age yes, going yeah. to <laughs> so, 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 yeah 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 um, the homes to be fed, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So <coughs> there's a big market and a big demand for agriculture in the country. And that's just domestic I'm talking about. Yeah. <coughs> when it comes to the, uh, to the export, I, I to, as I told you, I'm, I'm of the view that some of the hillside lands and so on could be go into places like mangoes mm. and, and, and passion fruit and, passion fruit and yeah, things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. In addition to that, there are, there are export, there are ex export um, uh, there's demand for some of the some of the products, for example, dashin. Yes, there is a market for that out there. Um, uh, I right now I'm I'm, I'm I'm leasing my place to sing to a fellow, and one one of the guys that I lease to uh, is growing dashin on the thing, and he grows good quality dashin. So I sent him a, a, a thing which I got, where Saint Vincent and Grenada have a niche market in Florida. Okay. And the demand is not being met, mm -hmm. so, they can so you can. So you We can grow mm -hmm. dashin for export. Yeah, man. I agree. I agree. You know. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You know. So, so in addition for the domestic um, food security, yes, for room for you, export. You could also have export. Yes, man. You know, commodities. Mm -hmm. um, the whole issue, for example, of of passion fruit, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. is, is another one. They are also demands for some of the newer products like sour soap. Yes. Grenada Grenada exports. Shipping. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. I agree. I agree. Right. Okay. So you have to plan out those things and actually put resources, okay, for their development. And so you could have a viable export agriculture as well as a viable domestic Mexican agriculture. Great. Final words from you, sir? Um, well, I hope that I've covered. Uh, well, I, I haven't covered everything. No, there's a lot more to cover. Uh, there's a lot more to cover, yeah, and um, uh, 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 even in the agricultural, um, even in the agricultural field, um, for example, um, I haven't said anything about the demise of the banana industry. industry. <laughs> uh, all what I can say about that mm -hmm. is that my advice was not followed. I was the one who broke the geese contract mm -hmm. for us to do our own things because we are exploited by geese. Okay? Although we, had, we brought benefits, we could have got much more greater benefits because 80%, 80% of the profits and so on that are going from the industry went to went to geese and we only got twenty percent. So we had to break that. That's why Web Deco was formed. Okay. And Web Deco was formed, the philosophy for having Web Deco was that we would have control of the ripening end of the thing. And the profits from that would have been ploughed back to the farmers so that the farmers could improve their productivity. 
so that you could compete with the Colombians, you know, and the Costa Ricans and so on. But that didn't happen. Okay? What happened was that the prophets, Cornebert used the prophets to go into new industries. Diversifying. Even the, diversifying <laughs> into um, doing water. Water and juices. And juices. <laughs> okay? So the money that was supposed to be plowed back to the growers to improve on their productivity, you know, when I gave them certain warnings, they did not follow my warnings, and that's why the banana industry just mm -hmm. dropped down. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. George, I want to say thank you. Thank you. I, it is a, an right. opportunity I looked forward to. Um, after we put off this interview so many times, I want to say thank you again. I wish you success in your quiet moments, and I'm hoping to read another book. I am mean, that's in motion, I was told. Well, I have it. Okay, wow. That's the section here. Okay. That deals with union. Okay, wow, interesting. <laughs> All right. So you can take it and read if you yeah. want. <laughs> Because there are a lot of things which I didn't cover. We, we, we just couldn't cover. You, you couldn't cover all, yeah? You couldn't cover but all. But, if, if, if but I have, I am writing my autobiography and all these things will be coming in. Beautiful. I have, I have a section. In fact, the section of union, I didn't even include it in the, the section of that you're talking about, the, um, um, the, uh, the, the school. Yes. I didn't even include it in there. Okay. I had a separate chapter where I was, I, I, I call it the educator. Okay. Because as far as I'm concerned, I am alive to educate. I must, there's no point in being educated yourself right. and not doing anything about the education of others. Correct. Correct. The important thing is you must leave a legacy. Pass it on. Yeah, you yeah. must. And uh, I'm very glad that I, I perhaps again, I, I became an educator. Anything I do, I always like to pass on the information to people. And again, that might have been influenced by my grandmother, mm -hmm. who, was, who, was, who was a teacher, and all my aunts were teachers. Yes, yes, you see? yes, so yes, yes. There, there, there's that, there's that um, linkage yeah. uh, in, 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 in education. In fact, my greatest joy, actually, um, is the legacy that I've left with you guys. Yes, I know. Because I can tell you, those guys who were very well educated. I educated those guys very well, mm -hmm. and they have done very, very well. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You know, all of you all. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I don't want to mention names. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Mr. Jordan. I wish you success in your, uh, in your retirement. And Thank your, you very much. Your cool moment. Thank you. You're very most welcome. You have been watching the program On the Field with me, Philip Sidney, and I've you, you heard and you've seen uh, my guest, the great Sir Alex George, who of course, had many portfolios and contributions to the agricultural sector and more. Thank you again for your viewing. I'm Philip Sidney saying goodbye and see you again.